This is Hal Ozan. I have an erection. You're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on the movie called Snuff, a documentary about killing on camera. And uh, this is from Wild Eye Releasing and it's a Killing Jokes Films Presents movie. Uh, this is exactly what it says. It's a uh, documentary about snuff films. And uh, it, they get together with a uh, you know, bunch of different people they interview, uh, some law enforcement people, ex-law enforcement, and uh, they just talk about like different parts of, of snuff films like uh, um, going back to like uh, the movie Snuff talking about that and how it affected audiences back then and compared to nowadays and uh, they talk about Cannibal Holocaust of course and uh, how how people thought it was real back then and uh, you know there's a whole bunch of different stuff behind the behind uh, Cannibal Holocaust but like like um, it just like going back and talk about faces of death now they said about you know if you were around back in like the I guess it was in the 90s or whatever uh, late 90s you, you or whenever I can't think of when they, when they came out it had to be in the 90s but uh, you you had to see at least one faces of death and I did I remember uh, being able to rank them and uh, hearing all about like this is real real stuff and it's pretty disturbing uh, pretty disturbing stuff and uh, they, they just they talk about all that kind of stuff like people now I asked in one of my uh, my video update um, if, if people thought snuff films are real and so I'm gonna ask that question again do you think snuff films are real or not and uh, I do I think they're real uh, one guy says it in here in the in the uh, documentary and and uh, I, I believe that uh, if you have enough money you can get anything and I believe snuff films are definitely one of them. Um, I and then they go into like certain things about like how some things like uh, say the Vietnam War that was on TV for everybody to watch that in its own way is a snuff film. I don't really consider that a snuff film. Uh, yeah, you're seeing live death, you know, death on TV, but uh, that's a whole different type of uh, film in in its own. Um, snuff film is like you know a raping or or you know it's murder on film and it's real it's not um, you know it's sex and rape and and all kinds of bad things and uh, <laughs> on film and somebody either just did it for fun or they paid for it or whatever they talk they talk about the movie Henry a little bit how they did that in the one scene they did uh, the they filmed the uh, them raping and killing the uh, the people in the in the movie, and then they sat back and watched it and watched it, and they and you know that in their in its own way too is also a snuff film, but that's not for everybody to watch. It's just for them. So and it's just like it touches on a lot of different bases, and uh, it, it I gotta tell you, I'll be honest, it was very <laughs> very disturbing, uh, because it 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 just it's weird because uh, the one guy even said the one guy even says you know why can we watch all this death and stuff in horror movies but yet no seeing something for real like somebody die for real is like so horrific like it, it was it, and I, I and it's it leads into a good question like that like why why is that I, it's just because in my opinion horror is the fantasy you know you it's stuff you would like to see happen but if you actually saw it happen, it'd be horrific. Now I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I, I there are people that I wouldn't mind seeing not exist anymore. But uh, I don't know. I wouldn't I want them to be in a snuff film. I wouldn't want I wouldn't hire somebody to make a snuff film about them or anything. It's it's just pretty uh, pretty intense. It, it was a very very good documentary. Uh, it was only 76 films. 76 minutes long and uh, one guy and I can't remember names in this but he tells a story about his own experience with a snuff film and uh, it it's really intense like you, you could see that how powerful him just telling the story from all these years later how much it affects still affects him to this day very powerful movie kind of like left me with a bad taste in my mouth in a way like just thinking like wow there is actual people out there that 
are into this. And uh, as much as I like horror, I I can't I can't get into this kind of crap. Uh, especially like uh, they talk about beheadings and stuff in here too. And uh, that that to me is just incredible, like cr incredibly horrific. Uh, because it's not quick if, you, if you've actually ever seen a beheading video I know they're out there it's not quick it's like they saw off your head with like a knife and like I just can't ima imagine the pain and the suffering you go through especially the screaming if somebody's gonna kill me or whatever make it quick I don't want to suffer <laughs> you know I'm just saying but uh, it's definitely uh, I, I can't say I liked it I thought it was a good documentary I don't like snuff obviously but uh, I thought the they reviewed people or interviewed people very well in this movie. And if you're interested in documentaries, it's definitely a good one to pick up and you know watch. Um, and that's it. <laughs> Not much more I can say about this. But yeah, give it a try. Uh, especially like I said, if you're into documentaries. Or if you're just curious about snuff films in general, like not that you're curious about snuff films, but like you want to know more about them. And uh, you know, maybe what is snuff? Well, this will explain it all for you. So uh, go on, go on over to WildEyeReleasing.com and uh, get yourself a, a copy of them. Uh, last time I saw, they sold out, but I'm sure there's some in stock now. And before the sun starts to come through my window even more and burn me up alive, I'm gonna let you go. So thanks everybody for watching, and talk to you later. Bye.